Welcome to the HyperMesh 2023 Quick Start for HyperWorks Legacy Professionals video series. It is meant for you, as a proficient user with the HyperWorks Legacy interface, to get efficiently introduced to the new user experience of HyperMesh 2023.0. This is video 2 of 6, Introducing to Selection, Mask and the Right-Click Menu. Selection is now possible without being in a functionality. Set the selector to the entity type of interest. Then left-click for individual selection. Control left click to append selections. Shift left click to deselect. Window selection is done by dragging with the left mouse button. Shift left drag is deselection. Window type options, selection outside versus inside a window and selection of visible only, are available at the top of the right click menu. Advanced selection methods are available from the dotted button in the selector as well as from the right-click menu. Respective selection methods may be only showing up in the menu when a selection already exists, like attached faces, attached or adjacent. Among the selection methods you will find the ones you know from Legacy HyperWorks. Mentionable new selection methods are elements by path, with the option to fill the path loop. The simplified by config or similar, which works for elements but also geometry. Saving and retrieving a selection is possible at the top of the right click menu. An interesting new option is to use the Alt key plus left mouse button for default advanced selection methods. For nodes, this is set to by path for elements to by face and by edge. You can configure these default methods per entity type. Use keyboard shortcuts for fast operations. You find an overview in the help, search for keyboard shortcuts and mouse controls. Configure the keys under view keyboard shortcuts. To mask entities, select these, then choose hide from the right click menu or simply hit the H key. The I key would isolate, or the A key show the selected entities. Hitting A or choosing show all, with no selection, will display all entities of the type set in the selector. To show the complete model content, set the selector to all, then hit A, or choose, show model. The D key opens the show hide tool. Then you can left click components or other entities to hide them. Shift hover shows hidden entities outlines, shift click to display them. Window selection works also. The right click menu offers a lot more functionality. Under more, you find additional displaying actions like hide all off screen, the former mask not shown, show adjacent, the former unmask adjacent. You may simply want to use the J key and show IDs. Other common actions you can perform on selected entities are delete, duplicate, copy paste, organize or card edit. While the new card editor is enhanced in editing options, you may prefer using the entity editor. Double click on entities opens the editor for these entities too. This concludes the second of the six videos of the HyperMesh 2023 Quick Start for HyperWorks Legacy Professionals video series. The next video is about browser functionality. Thanks for watching.